algebra number 17 using the distance formula. Remember a formula is using letters to represent numbers and it'll help you solve word problems. In the distance formula, D means distance, R means the rate, and the T means the time. It could either be done as multiplying the rate and time to get the distance or dividing the time into the distance to get the rate or dividing the rate into the distance to get the time. You determine which information represents which letter in the formula, then you multiply or divide for the answer. So, I have an expla explanation of all three ways that it could be written with the same problem to make it easier to understand. An airplane went 436 miles an hour. How far did it go in four hours? That would be the distance equals the rate times the time. We're going to multiply the rate times the time it took to come up with the distance, the miles, which would be 1,744. We know the rate is how fast it was going, the time is how long it took, and they want you to find D. Now, if you're looking for the rate and you need to divide the distance by the time, the problem would say an airplane went 1,744 miles in four hours. How fast did it go? Now you're trying to find the rate. So now you would divide the four hours into the distance that you went to get the answer of the rate that it went, how fast it went. If you're looking for the time, you would divide rate into the distance. So the word problem would say an airplane went 1,744 miles at 436 miles per hour. How long did it take for the trip? So now you're trying to find the time. So you could either divide the 436 into 1,744, which will come out evenly as 4, or instead of doing a very difficult division problem like that, division is the opposite of multiplication and vice versa, we know we could multiply the answer to get it. So multiply 436 by 2, that's too small. 436 by 3, that's still too small. By 5, that would be too big, so it must be by 4. And then multiply it by 4 to absolutely make sure you're right, and then the answer would be 4. That is the way I would prefer to do it, even though it's given to you as if it would be a division problem. That is distance formula, D equals RT.